The Tupolev TB-3 was a heavy bomber aircraft which was deployed by the Soviet Air Force in the 1930s and during World War II. It was the world's first cantilever wing four-engine heavy bomber. Despite obsolescence and being officially withdrawn from service in 1939, the TB-3 performed bomber and transport duties throughout much of World War II. The TB-3 also saw combat as a Zveno Project fighter mothership and as a light tank transport. Development In 1925, the Soviet Air Force approached TSAGI with a requirement for a heavy bomber with total engine output of 2,000 picoseconds and either wheeled or float landing gear. Tupolev OKB started design work in 1926 with the government operational requirements finalized in 1929. The Tupolev TB-1 was taken as the basis for the design and the aircraft was initially powered by Curtiss V-1570 Conqueror engines generating 600 picoseconds each, with the intent of switching to Mikulin M-17s in production. The mock-up was approved on March 21, 1930 and the first prototype was completed on October 31, 1930. The aircraft flew on December 22, 1930 with Mikhail Gromov at the controls and with ski landing gear. Despite almost crashing owing to vibration causing the throttles to close, the test flight was a success. On February 20, 1931, the Soviet Air Force approved mass production of the AND-6 with M-17 engines. The prototype was refitted with BMW Viz 500 engines of 730 picoseconds each larger radiators, and wooden fixed-pitch propellers of TSAGI design. Single-wheel landing gear was deemed too weak and was replaced by tandem bogies with 1,350A, 300mm tires. The first pre-production TB3-4 M17 flew on January 4, 1932 with A.B. Yamashev and I.F. Petrov at the controls. Unexpectedly, Subsequent mass-produced aircraft were found to be 10 a Euro 12% heavier than the prototype, which significantly hampered performance. The discrepancy was discovered to be due to high positive tolerances on raw materials which resulted in steel sheet metal, pipes, and wires being much thicker than on the carefully constructed prototypes. The aircraft were also more crudely painted with a thick layer of camouflage and lacquer. The factories asked the workers for suggestions on reducing the weight, paying 100 rubles for each kilogram removed from the aircraft. In combination with OKB efforts, this resulted in weight savings of almost 1,000 kilograms. Despite this, production aircraft could differ from each other by as much as several hundred kilograms. In 1933, a single TB3-4M17F was streamlined with removal of turrets and bomb shackles covering of all openings, and fitting of wheel spats. This resulted in only a 4.5% increase in top speed and a similar increase in the range. Tupolev concluded that streamlining was minimally beneficial for large and slow aircraft. To study the effect of corrugated skin, in January a Euro February 1935 a single TB3-4AM34A had the corrugations incrementally covered with fabric. This resulted in a 5.5% gain in top speed and a 27.5% increase in the ceiling. The same aircraft demonstrated a significant increase in climb rate when fitted with experimental four-blade propellers. Record flights, TB3-4M34A set a flight endurance record of 18 hours and 30 minutes. TB3-4AM 34FRN with AB Yamashev at the controls set a number of payload to altitude records, September 11, 1936 a Euro 5000 kg to 8116 meters, improved to 8980 meters on October 28, 16 September 1936 a Euro 10000 kg to 6605 meters. September 20, 1936 a Euro 12,000 kg to 2,700 meters. Design, the TB-3 was an all-metal aircraft of steel construction. The frame was composed of V-section beams covered with non-stressed corrugated skin ranging from 0.3 to 0.8 mm in thickness. The corrugations were 13 mm deep and 50 mm apart. The cantilever wing was supported by four tube section spars. In 1934, thanks to the development of stronger steel alloys, 
the wingspan was increased from 39.5 to 41.85 meters with a concurrent wing area increase from 230 to 234.5 miles squared. Any part of the aircraft could be walked on in soft shoes without damaging the skin, and the leading edges of the wings swung down to form walkways for engine maintenance. Controls were cable actuated with a variable incidence tailplane and a trim compensation system in case of engine failures on one side. Fixed main landing gear was not fitted with brakes. The fuel tanks did not have fire or leak protection, although the engines had an internal fire extinguishing system. The M17 engines were tuned to provide a maximum theoretical range of 3,250 km without spark plug or carburetor fouling. Defensive armament consisted of light machine guns in five turrets a Euro 1 in the nose, two on top of mid fuselage and one retractable dustbin under each wing between the engine nacelles. Later variants moved one of the top fuselage turrets aft of the tail fin. Operational history The TB-3 was used operationally during the Battle of Karkhingol against Japan and in the Winter War with Finland. Although it was officially withdrawn from service in 1939, at the start of the Great Patriotic War on June 22, 1941, the Soviet Air Force had 516 operational TB-3s, with an additional 25 operated by the Soviet Navy. Stationed far from the USSR's western border, the TH sent B-3s avoided catastrophic losses during the first German air strikes, after which TB-3s from 3rd TBAP began flying night bombing missions on June 23. A shortage of combat-ready aircraft also required daytime use of TB-3s without fighter escort and in this role the bombers, operating at low to medium altitudes, suffered heavy losses to enemy fighters and ground fire. By August 1941, TB-3s made up 25% of the Soviet bomber force and, operated by elite Air Force crews, were flying up to three combat missions per night. The aircraft participated in all major battles through 1943, including the First Battle of Smolensk, the Battle of Moscow, the Battle of Stalingrad, the Siege of Leningrad, and the Battle of Kursk. On July 1, 1945, 18th Air Army still had 10 TB-3s on the active roster. The TB-3 served extensively as a cargo and paratroop transport, carrying up to 35 soldiers in the latter role. In the first five months of the war, the aircraft transported 2,797 tons of cargo and 2,300 personnel. The TB-3 was also used in several special projects as a fighter mothership in the Zveno project and for delivering light T-27, T-37, and T-38 tanks. On August 1, 1941, a pair of TB-3s in Zveno SPB configuration, each with two Polikarpov I-16 fighters carrying a pair of 250 kg bombs, destroyed an oil depot with no losses in the port of Constanit, Romania. On August 11 and August 13, 1941, Zveno SPB successfully damaged the King Carol I bridge over the Danube in Romania. Zveno operations ended in the autumn of 1942 due to high vulnerability of the motherships. In recognition of the role TB-3 played during the war, three aircraft were included in the first post-war air parade on June 18, 1945. Variants Source, Chevrov, TB-3-4M17F, the first production version, comprised about half of all TB-3s built. TB-3-4M34, McCoolin AM-34 engines with revised radiators, added oil coolers, several dozen built. TB-3-4M-34R, McCoolin AM-34R engines with reduction gearboxes providing significantly improved performance, additional turret aft of the tail fin, tail wheels with hydraulic brakes, aerodynamic refinements of the wing fuselage join and radiators, retractable wind generators. TB-3-4AM-34RD, a series of long-range demonstration aircraft with streamlined fuselages and wheel brakes. Some aircraft had single main gear wheels 2 meters in diameter and three blade metal propellers. Used for flights to Warsaw, Paris, and Rome in 1933 or Euro 1934. TB-3-4AM-34RN, high-altitude version with AM-34RN engines, 
four blade propellers on inboard engines and two blade on outboard, two meters single main wheels, turrets upgraded to KAS machine guns, top speed 288 km per hour at 4,200 meters, service ceiling 7,740 meters. Tested in Augusta Euro October 1935 but did not enter production as the basic TB3 design was becoming obsolete. TB3 4 AM 34 FRN FRNV, AM 34 FRN FRNV engines with increased power output and four blade propellers, aerodynamic refinements including streamlined turrets, 2 meters main wheels with brakes, top speed over 300 km per hour. TB3 D Proposed variant with Sharomsky AN1 diesel engines of 750 picoseconds and projected range of 4,280 km, did not enter production as other performance characteristics were inferior to TB3 4 AM 34 RN. G2 Retired TB3s with M17 and M34 engines converted for freight duties with Aeroflot, and 6 4 M34 R AVR Actica. TB3 modified for the 1937 expedition to the North Pole with enclosed cockpit, single 2 meters main wheels, three blade metal propellers. Operators: China, Nationalist China Air Force, Soviet Union, Aeroflot, Soviet Air Force, Soviet Naval Aviation. Specifications: Data from Shevov, general characteristics, crew, 4, length, 24.4 meters. Wingspan, 41.80 m, height, 8.50 m, wing area, 234.5 m2, empty weight, 11,200 kg, loaded weight, 17,200 kg, max takeoff weight, 19,300 kg, power plant, for a, McCoolin M17 FV12 engine, 525 kW each, performance, maximum speed, 212 km per hour at 3,000 m, range, 2,000 km, service ceiling, 4,800 m, rate of climb, 1.25 m per second, wing loading, 73 kg mass squared, power mass, 0.15 kW per kg, time to altitude, 5 minutes to 1,000 m, 29 minutes to 3,000 m, best turn time, 40 seconds, Takeoff roll, 300 meters. Landing roll, 330 meters. Armament, guns, 5 a Euro 8 a, 7.62 millimeters DAR machine guns, 163 round magazines, bombs, up to 2,000 kilograms of bombs. See also, Zveno Project, aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era, Mitsubishi Ki-20, SABAB-20, related lists. List of interwar military aircraft, List of aircraft of World War II, List of military aircraft of the Soviet Union and the CIS, List of bomber aircraft. References. Equals notes equals. Equals bibliography equals.